Hey guys, welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. My name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And today I wanted to do a little bonus video. If you watched my January morning basket video, you saw where I had created some um, Asian theme cards for our January morning basket. And I talked about how I was gonna use a stem bin. And someone asked if I could please talk a little bit more about stem bins. And so I just wanted to make a quick video about how I use stem bins in homeschool. Stem bins were created by a teacher named Brooke Brown, Teach Outside the Box. You can definitely go and check her out. She does have a blog and she's also on Teachers Pay Teachers. She is the original creator of these. And the cards that you see right here are her creation. And she has cards for all kinds of themes. Seasonal themes, outdoor themes, anything you can imagine, she makes them. So definitely go and check her out. I'll try to link um, her blog and her Teachers Pay Teacher store in the description so you can go check them out for yourself. But I used her products when I taught public school and I wanted to find a way to bring them into homeschool. Now my son is a fifth grader and you're probably thinking that's kind of silly. Fifth graders are not going to like to build and do things like that, but they actually do. I actually use a lot of these stem bins at the co-op that I go to. So they're actually intended for building projects. They're to encourage your kids to build. Um, she recommends that you buy pencil cases, and this is actually my son's one that he keeps his modeling clay in. But you can pick up pencil cases like this, and if you buy one of her packs, you can get a label to go right there that says stem bin. And what would happen is the child would pick a stem bin, and they would pick a card. And so this is how we use them in our homeschool. In public school, they're for early finishers. I kind of think of it like crowd control. You've got to work with all the other kiddos. You need the ones who are finished to have something to do. And this is a pretty constructive way to use their time. You could also use them as morning tubs. But at homeschool, I use them for a different purpose. I only have one child, but the way that we use them is when I'm doing the read aloud or I'm reading our lesson for the day, I've noticed that my son, who has ADHD, retains more information if his hands are busy. And STEM bins are the way to go because they keep him thinking and keep his hands busy and then he's able to narrate back to me what we just read. So the kit that I actually purchased from her was a calm down kit. It was a kit intended for kiddos who were sad or who were a little upset or who just needed some time to themselves to go and kind of focus on something else. And that works great with children with ADHD and sometimes we do that with my son. If he's overly frustrated or he um, is feeling sad or any of that, I can ask him to go and pick one of these cards and he can sit and build that. And usually a few minutes into it, he's calmed down enough where that I can talk to him and we can kind of, you know, do like a redo on whatever we were doing. So you can also check out her calm down kits. But stem bin, what you're gonna do is get a pencil case or something to hold your building materials in. Now, we don't want you to go out and spend a ton of money. All of this stuff that I had here, I either picked up at the Goodwill, I already had because I was a teacher, or I found them at cheap places like Aldi. I know this came from Aldi, and this was on clearance at Walmart. Anything you have around your house that you can build with can be used in a stem bin. So you'll take the building materials and you'll put them in whatever container you want to hold. When I go to our homeschool co-op, I actually take them in gallon size baggies and I just pass out the baggies when we have some extra time and the kids love them. So the kid will get a stem bin and the kid's also gonna have some cards depending on which, what you buy or if you've made your own and you have your own theme. You can laminate these and put these on a ring. She shows you how to do that in her video. And they just pick one card and then they get to work. They figure out how they can build this bunny with any of these materials. So I just have some wooden blocks. These are called play sticks and I actually picked these up at the Goodwill. Um, I know these are called brain flakes on Amazon, but I did get these at Aldi for like $5.99. A huge bucket of like $500. They're great to build with. These are Legos from the Target dollar spot. So not actually Legos, but building blocks. Those are magnetized from Walmart. You could put anything in there. Unifix cubes, popsicle sticks with Velcro on the ends were always favorites for my little kiddos in kindergarten. Um, anything that can become a building material, Play-Doh. My children's favorite at co-op, believe it or not, are the white little cheap plastic cups about the size of a Dixie cup. My kiddos love those. We just constructed the Coliseum using those. So you can use just about anything to build with. Lincoln logs, whatever you have around your house. 
And it's really just to get them thinking about building and constructing and being their own little engineers. And it's just a good way to help your kiddos at home, maybe to pay attention a little more. So I could definitely see it being used in homeschool during read aloud time. And also, if you have multiple children, if you have multiple children and you're being pulled in every direction and you need some of them to just kind of keep their hands busy and you don't want to give them another worksheet or another assignment, I think these stem bins would come in handy. So if you just had a few of them fixed up and a few of these cards, I think you could really use them in your homeschool. So I hope this is helpful. Like I said, I'm going to link Brooke Brown's information in my description box because she does have videos about what is a stem, a STEM bin, how to use those STEM bins, how you can even use them for literacy. Um, so if you're more interested, definitely check her out. I do wanna show you the other cards. So she has a bunny, a tent. These are all the things your kiddos would try to build. A puppy, a bed, a flower, you know, just all different kinds of things. A rainbow, and she makes so many. There are so many choices. So if you do not want to make your own, like I themed mine towards our Asia unit, if you don't want to make your own, she has so many choices, and they're very affordable. For this Calm Down Pack, I think I paid $3.50. Um, I saw one that was $5, so it's really not a big deal to buy one of her packs. So if you have any more questions about stem bins or any of the materials that I use, please leave them in the comments below. I love talking to y'all and sharing all things homeschool with you. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.